welcome to Aussie Couple Hawaii. This is our Disney Olani room tour. At the end, I'll leave a voiceover on what we paid and I'll also add it in the description. We did receive an upgrade, which is the first one we've ever got. So please stay tuned, hope you like it. We have a lot, and I mean a lot more, to come just on Disney alone, but also on other parts of the island. Thank you for watching. So on this part of our trip, we've just arrived at Olani Disney Resort. Let's see how room. start off in the bathroom and you're seeing this all for the first time as we have we literally walked in at a really quick scan but we haven't even gone over everything or anything yet i don't know if there's more oh, that light there we go a bit more light I'm using my phone because gopro hates low light and it's very very dark in here Weird. but separate toilet which is always really handy we've got some artwork on the wall Nothing around there. Beautiful shower. It is and over it, the bar. And it's oh. nice to see a <laughs> rain shower head. Yeah. The first time in weeks. You've got the choice. You've got a handheld or a shower head, which is great. Shampoo, conditioner, body wash. And organic. Hand soap, body cream. Always really nice to have. Okay, bin. I don't think that's a drawer, is it? That's a whole solid. We've got a lamp, must light up. Is it touch? I don't know. Not sure. It's got power, it's got a switch on it. But, uh, so it's got a light. I don't think there's. Oh, these are beautiful. So we've got all that. Oh, Big mirror. More towels. Towels. I'm assuming connecting door if you've got two rooms, if you're doing that thing. And now we'll head out into this part. The little personal touches in this room are amazing. But first, we've got a hallway closet, coat hangers, ironing board, iron. As always, it's stand. one single luggage stand, which is handy when you've got heaps of bags, but everywhere's the same. Yeah. I don't know why, but it seems to be the same. You've got a full length mirror, which is always good at any hotel. So you can make sure. Machine. Love it. You've got a few, what are they, are different? Coffee pods to go in the coffee machine. We have <clears throat> this personalized message as soon as you walk into the TV. Love it. It merely brought to you to my eyes. And then Check scan around to the bed. Look at this. Super cute, huge bed, which is um, yeah, focus here. very much welcomed after the bed we just come from. Yeah, after <laughs> being in Waikiki, we thought we'd try a different hotel and it was just a little bit um, different. Bedside lamps on each side, clock, phone, notepad. Sitting area which also folds out to another bed. So it's a sofa bed. Beautiful artwork. Then we have a gorgeous sitting area. Look at this lamp. I want to take it home. I think you can buy them in the <laughs> gift shop. Like, is it not the cutest thing ever? I know the Ordinary Adventures people have <laughs> said they want to take it home every time. He's got a little ukulele. And so cute. You opened this, didn't you? No? We got bar fridge, so. Oh, I need to pull the fridge out. Standard. I think these are all empty. Yeah. It's a oh yeah, you can plug stuff in. Never seen that before. No, really. So yeah, plenty of drawer space. And as you can see, your entrance even is huge, which will be good for us. We decided to do this one before our bags came up because our bags take up a hell of a lot. So now come out. We did get upgraded to an ocean view room. Let me tell and you. And we'll happily take it too. I feel so lucky right now. Don't have a look at that view. Beautiful. Wow. 
it really does not get any better. So, I mean, look, if you've got kids, it is the place to be. So, I know a lot of people complain because they say there's too many families, too many children. We don't care, it's Disney. So, we've always wanted to stay here. So, we're here and we're going to enjoy ourselves while we can because, as all of you would know, it's not a very cheap hotel. It's a beautiful hotel, but it's definitely not the cheapest. Um, normally, a couple times we've gone and stayed at Turtle Bay, but we thought this time it was meant to be a surprise, but someone gets nosy. So, yeah, I mean, it's stunning. It's beautiful. We did a walk around here a year or two ago that we put up. So we'll do a fresh one of that as well next couple of days and a bit of a walk around the hotel. Yeah, we'll check out a few different things. There'll be a fair few different videos this time to come from Disney. So it's, uh, yeah, our first time here staying. So like I said, we've been out here and checked it out before. So this will be our first actual stay. So we can, yes, add a heap of stuff in or extra videos and any questions, ask away. We're just doing this because, you know, we're here and we enjoy doing it. So... might be time to go down might go lazy river a bit of a float oh they're double ones does it go it must go both ways it must go the whole way around and then you've got your reef that you can go snorkeling with all the fishies you've got your kids play area but there's kids everywhere anyway. We've got huge koi ponds. We've got adults pool at the back, restaurants, cafes. Vicky! You embarrassed? Baby. That means stitches probably running around too bad. If Mum sees shit, she's gonna drop everything and take a photo. I don't know who they're doing photos with now. Oh, okay. Alright, we better go. Okay, for what you've been waiting for, the pricing. When we stayed, it wasn't a peak period. It was just a normal time of year. It's only a couple of months ago, and it was over two nights. And for the pricing of that, it was $1,862.86 for the two nights, Australian, and $931.43 Australian per night. Plus we got hit with $419 in tax, so total was $2,281.91. So I can also add on if you'd like in American US currency. So US at the time that we stayed was $1,498.65 for the two nights. So it's about $7.50 ish roughly at US a night. Was it worth it? To us, hell yes, it was an experience. It rained a lot while we were there and they shut a lot down, but it was still totally worth it. We would definitely go back, but it is a lot of money compared to where you can stay for a lot less, but there's a lot there and you have to remember it is Disney. So you're going to pay for Disney. Um, food isn't the cheapest, but it's same thing. Hawaii is pretty similar all over, so we didn't complain too much about that. But do remember you can get there early, they had no issue with that, and you can also leave late. You just have to be in and out of the rooms 
at the check-in time and check-out time. So you can't go back to the room once you've checked out, but you can still utilize parts of the park. So they do let you know that when you get there. So if it's on your wish list, definitely go do it. Don't think twice. Just lash out and do it at least once in your life. So we'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button. If you're not already following us, we'd love to see you follow us too. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Thank you. A real quick thank you again. Hope you all get to at least go spend one night at this magnificent resort. And thank you. Hope to see you all around.